Hi, uh, I'm Manmeet from Scalar School of Technology. Uh, often parents and students reach out to me asking for help in choosing the right college. And how does Scalar School of Technology compare with other colleges? Okay. Now, luckily, I've run a company called Clarity in which I did exactly this. And I have a framework with me in which there are 11 parameters that I will list down in this video. I will use SST as an example. And basis the framework, you can compare SST with any other college by doing your basic research. So let's get into it. What are these parameters? You can see them on the screen. It starts with curriculum. It goes on to teachers, uh, peers, who are the kind of students you study with? What is the campus culture? Placements? Are there entrepreneurship opportunities? Higher studies opportunities? Campus infra and location? Fees? scholarships and selection process. We are going to go deep into each factor here. What you need to do is that for each of these parameters, you need to give a college a score between one to five. And at the end of the exercise, you have to total all of the scores and then you will get the final score basis, which you can make an informed decision. Uh, let's start with curriculum. Assuming you want to get into computer science and artificial intelligence, uh, the curriculum at SST is built in collaboration with 100 plus leaders from top tech companies like Uber, Amazon, Meta, etc. Now, the best part about this curriculum is that because tech changes so quickly, right? Uh, the curriculum updates every three to four months to incorporate the latest things. Now, what we've ensured is that just how doctors learn very practically, the same way engineers learn by building a lot of projects. Also, it's very important that for any college, you download the detailed curriculum. For SST, I will link it in the description where you see each subject. What you'll realize is that at SST, we are not just preparing you to be coders, but rather we are preparing you to be builders, problem solvers and architects of great systems. Right. And that needs soft skills that needs hard skills as well. And the curriculum covers that. So you need to go deep for any college. So by the time you graduate, you will graduate with one full year of industry immersion here at Scalar School of Technology. All right. Uh, coming to the teachers, let's look at the kind of teachers easily. You can go to LinkedIn and find out for the, what, what college, what teachers teach. At SST, you'll see that most teachers, uh, apart from having teaching experience, also have industry experience. And there are a lot of personalization through mentoring and batch success managers to ensure that no student is left behind. All right, so let's go to the next one, which is peers. What kind of students study in this college, right? So this, in my opinion, is one of the most important factors because you become the average of the five people around you. Now we are building the Ivy League for computer science, and that means uh, we are being very careful on whom we offer. In 2024, 12,000 people applied, only 440 came here with a selection rate of 3.8%. What that means is that a lot of people who came here had great profiles, great JE scores. Uh, 137 of them actually left tier one offers from other colleges uh, and have come here. Now, what that does is that on campus, there is this atmosphere of, hey, everyone around me is doing great things. So I also need to grow and you grow faster. So this statistic of what is the selection rate of a particular college, uh, you should check and try and ask the college authorities and the ones which are good are transparent and they will share that with you. Also, since I spoke about transparency at SST, what we've done is we've created a student directory where you can literally filter any student from a particular state or a city and connect with them via LinkedIn to find out what is the reality on the ground. I suggest you should try and connect with students, real students, and have at least two to three conversations, no matter what college you are selecting. All right, one more important factor is what is the campus culture? So let's break this out into two parts. One is the serious one where, hey, uh, you know, are the students around me building companies? Are they building projects? Okay, so there SST has a top notch culture, uh, innovation lab, many things you can research on our website. On the other side, which is the fun part, will I have fun in college or not? Okay, that's also super important and you learn a lot through this. Our campus is student led, which means we have formal student bodies, formal student clubs who organize everything from press to hackathons. Uh, in fact, we are going to do a, a fest called Yugantar in November, which is going to be one of Bangalore's largest tech and cultural fest. We are going to do inter-college post tournaments. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And as more students come year on year, uh, the velocity of these activities just keep going up. 
Okay, now the most important one, placements. How do I compare two colleges uh, with respect to placement? So one is very important that uh, are the reports being published, uh, are they audited or not? Now, when it comes to scalar, audited reports have uh, shared where we've shared it on our website. Uh, the existing scalar courses in 2021, scalar placed more people into Amazon than all IITs combined. That's huge, right? Now, the same team, the same placement team works on SST placements as well. And I'm really proud to share that the batch of 23, their internship audited placement report. This report is audited by the same company uh, which audits IM Ahmedabad's placement report and the report is out. Let me share some stats with you. The highest stipend is 2 lakh per month. There are five students who have received international offers from uh, countries like Singapore, Germany and Indonesia. The placement rate is 96% and uh, the average stipend is about 31,000. All of this is part of the industry immersion of the first batch. So obviously, uh, Scalar from day one has been uh, obsessed with outcomes and therefore we have a 1200 strong partner network that our recruitment team constantly works with. Now it's very important to remember the debate is not about BTEC versus BSc. One has to factor in college, degree, the kind of background of the college and the past record. In fact, you should know that many Indian colleges like Indian Institute of Science, IIT, Kharagpur, IIT, Bombay also give out BSc degrees and have outcomes better than many BTEC colleges like you can see on the screen. Alright, so let me speak about entrepreneurship at Skiller School of Technology. Personally, very close to my heart. Uh, we have something called the Innovation Lab where 20 plus startups are being built as we speak. And uh, there is a dedicated 1CR fund available there, along with a lot of mentoring for technologies across robotics, machine learning, etc. Now, here, currently, there is a success story of Neo Sapiens. It's a startup incubated at SST, which has been featured at Shark Tank and they raised about 80 lakhs. And very recently, there's another startup called Gahan AI, which has been incubated at the Innovation Lab which is building autonomous vehicles for uh, the mining industry. All right, so the next important factor is looking for uh, flexibility on higher studies because many of you all at the third year, fourth year mark will decide that I want to do an MS, let's say in the US, or I want to do an MBA later in life. Now, therefore, one has to check or be very sure that can I do that or not. Now, at SST, because everyone pursues a parallel degree from either IIT Madras or BITS Pilani, or the three plus one where three is from either of these and fourth year is from Wolf University, everyone is eligible to do whatever they want to pursue when it comes to education abroad. When it comes to India, students are eligible for things like CAT, uh, UPSC. In MTech, there are certain colleges where students are eligible for if they choose the four year option. We've also created a dedicated website so that parents and students can explore placements at SST. In fact, not just placement, all the outcomes at SST, where you can download placement reports, see the success stories and do your research. All right, now let's talk about the next factor, which is campus infrastructure and location. Starting with location, Given a program like SST, which is so deeply integrated with the industry, we wanted to build an urban campus in the center of a major tech hub like Bangalore. Now, what that does is it allows our students to get unparalleled access to uh, opportunities directly at companies and vice versa as well. Our campus today sits inside a six acre IT park with the hostels nearby. And since we run just one branch, which is computer science, the space per student is significantly higher than most multi-department colleges. And with Bangalore as your playground, the opportunities are just unparalleled. All right, let's talk about the fees. How affordable is the course? Uh, parents obviously uh, would weigh uh, very heavily on this factor. Now at SST, the total uh, fee, which is including your tuition, parallel degree fee, hostel mess, uh, roughly the starting is about 25.5, uh, all inclusive, uh, like you can see on the screen and where we have assumed that the final year will not be on campus. Now, the way to look at fee parents is that it should be looked at as an investment. Okay, and just as a ROI exercise, what I've done here is that um, 
I've created two scenarios where the student A, which after four years gets placed at 10 lakhs, where the student B, which gets placed at 15 lakhs. After five years, like you can see, student A is actually earning 38 lakhs more than student B. So you can see that the investment can very quickly be recovered just in five lakhs. But if I zoom out further to 10 years, then the gap increases to 92 lakhs. At 20 year mark, the gap actually increases to 3.2 crores. So that's why it's important your undergrad is going to happen just once and therefore it's important to look at this decision as an investment uh, across colleges. Now, uh, to make this easier for candidates, while there are financing opportunities also available uh, at most colleges, including SST, uh, there are scholarships also available for meritorious students and need come merit-based scholarships. Uh, the details of this you can see on the screen and you can also uh, see on our website. All you need to do is, while filling up the form for SST, ensure that you share all details carefully. So let me tell you about our selection process, which ensures that you have a world-class peer group. At SST, there are no reservations. Uh, the selection process is very holistic. What that means is that we're probably one of India's few colleges which at scale does an entrance test followed by two rounds of interviews to ensure that we just don't judge you on just marks, but it's a combination of your profile, how well you've done in school, in competitive exams, apart from our own competitive exam, right? So uh, one has to see how holistic the selection process is and how benchmarked it is to global practices. All right, so thank you so much for staying till here. Now, what do you need to do? You have all the 11 parameters with you. You will need to list them down either on a piece of paper or on an Excel and then rate a particular college uh, across all those parameters and then total the points and see which one objectively comes out better. And that's how you can make your decision here. If you need any help, uh, SST program advisors, once you have an offer, will be with you to guide you further. And we also have our support team, uh, which you can write to in case you have any confusion about SST and or need any other help. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. I, I wish you all the best and hope to see many of you all on campus soon. Thank you. And links to all the resources that I mentioned uh, in the video are in the description box below.